everybody. Uh, this is just a very quick demonstration of the outage reporter task that is available in the Studio 6 task library. Uh, I was just going to do a quick demonstration of it and call it here on my phone, just so you can get a feel for the use of it uh, within your own organization or perhaps with your customers. Uh, so as the name suggests, this is a service where you can call in and report an outage. So if you can imagine in a service provider environment, it could be an outage to your cable or to your broadband or telephone service. Uh, in a utility environment, it could be something like you know, your electricity is out or something like that. The purpose of this uh, task is also so to show some of the new features of Studio 6. So in this case, we'll be using natural language. So we'll be just speaking the addresses that we want to report outages on. Uh, we'll be showcasing the Google WaveNet high definition text to speech voices. And we'll just be showing, in this case, an integration into a third party system, which in this case will be Google Maps, where we'll see in real time dots appearing on the screen where people are reporting outages. So it's a very uh, useful demonstration. It's very quick uh, and it um, is good to illustrate because it's it's interactive. So let's, uh, let's just talk through it quickly. Uh, as always, calls will come in at the start. Uh, I'm switching the voice here using a switch voice node, or sorry, the change voice node to Google WaveNet. Um, if I go in here and have a look at that, you can see here we have quite a lot of uh, voices now available uh, in here under US English. We're also many available under uh, other languages as well. It's over 50 voices available. Uh, I will then greet the caller. I'll ask them for their location. This is the new Google speech to text node. Uh, whatever you say is going to be transcribed in real time. In this case, we're going to be transcribing in US English, uh, and then we will assign the result to a variable called location. And you can see here over 120 language and language variants are now supported in the platform. Once we actually have uh, that location, we're going to send it out via an integration node. In this case, the integration is to uh, Google Maps. You can see the Google Maps API here at the top of the screen. We're just going to pass the, the query uh, and, and so forth and uh, get back a lot of information from Google Maps. Uh, I'll then check that I've actually got a result from Google Maps. And if I do, uh, I'm going to go down this branch here, which is going to uh, plot it onto a screen. Uh, and in this case, the screen is hosted by inference. So it's a, it's a URL that's hosted by inference, which basically is just an extract of Google Maps where you can plot data in real time to it. Um, so we're going to do a, a post as JSON. Uh, we're going to post the latitude and longitude onto, um, onto the map. It's uh, quite straightforward. Uh, the map is over here on another screen. I've zoomed into San Francisco here. Uh, I'm going to try it on a location near where I live. I live up here in, uh, in Mill Valley. So I will try a Mill Valley address um, and we'll just give it a call. Welcome to the outage reporting demonstrator. To report an outage, just say the street address now. 65 Shell Road in Mill Valley, California. Thank you. We've added the address. 65 Shell Road, Mill Valley, California, 94941, USA. To our list of reported outages for investigation. If there is something else I can help you with today, just tell me in a few words now. So I'll just hang up there because that's the basic idea of the demonstration. Uh, you can see here it's plotted on the screen, uh, the address. It's actually read the address back to me. If I zoom in, you can see it's actually there on 65 Shell Road. Uh, and so you would, could imagine that in a real world environment, rather than putting a dot on the screen, you'd be going into some sort of outage notification platform or CRM platform. Uh, but this allows you to have that sort of visual uh, guide when you're doing a demonstration to a customer or uh, indeed to other stakeholders in your business. Yeah.